Isabella was born with what she calls a baby hand, and now she has a new robot hand. I met with Isabella today to see how life is now with her new hand. Let me take it off for a little while and then we'll put it back on, okay? Yeah. We'll put it back on. She started just hiding, hiding and hiding her little hand. She would hide it. Everywhere we go, she'd hide it. If somebody would be laughing, she'd hide it. Or she'd hide, Mom, they're laughing at me, Mom. I can't cry. <laughs> Isabella was born with amniotic band syndrome, causing her to lose circulation in her right hand and have what she calls a baby hand. As Isabella started to grow up, she began noticing that her hand was different, and other people noticed too. She even got called a freak once, and, and she started just crying. Her mother, Christina Ibarra, says that the teasing broke her heart. Christina then came across Enable, a social media site that connects children in need of prosthetic hands with volunteers to give them the prosthetics free of charge. Christina and Isabella then met with a maker called Fathom out in Oakland, California, who made her a custom 3D printed prosthetic hand. Isabella gave me a personal look at what she calls her robot hand. She customized it with hot pink coloring, Care Bears, and even a diamond ring. Christina says she is still learning how to use it. But we need practice. It's, it's just, you know, she was born like that, so it's not, it's not easy for her. She says she plans to take Isabella to physical therapy to help her learn how to use it. But Isabella is already learning quickly on her own. She's doing a whole bunch of stuff. Like she'll, she'll hold stuff. Like she'll, she'll, she'll scratch her head. She's always shaking people's hands and 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 riding her motorcycle. <laughs> Her friends have also noticed her new hand. They're like, wow, what's that? And, and she'll be like, oh, it's my robot hand. But even with her new hand, Isabella's mom makes sure that she knows she is no different with or without it. We try to explain to her that, that she was born like that. I try to explain to her that she shouldn't feel any less because of that. Bye. For more on Isabella's story, you can head to our website at bakersfieldnow.com. Reporting in studio, Alexia Telling, back to you.